the stunning Saudi views were there for many to enjoy, but not for the lightweight vehicle drivers who were on it. And on it was Chris Meek. On his Dakar debut, he took a brilliant second place today. The World Rally winner is back. Mitch Guthrie took third with the Red Bull OT3, proving he's one to never underestimate. He lost big time on the first stage, but now he's back in the hunt. Poland's Aaron Domzala has stealthily crept up the overall ranking in his Monster Energy Can-Am, and he's taken the stage and is now right on the tail of the overall lead. After a great stage three, Austin Jones was again on the podium of a Dakar stage, making it close overall with seven minutes covering the top three. Winner on the previous stage and leader overall by six minutes coming into the day, Chaleco Lopez has had that lead clipped to under four minutes now. Should he be worried? Will he lose sleep? Not much ruffles the Chilean. Having gone so well over the past two days, including winning a stage, Cristina Gutierrez had a less successful run and lost huge time. She slips well down. So Chaleco leads ahead of Domzala, Jones, Karyakin and Quintero in the lightweight vehicle class. And in SSV, it is Chaleco again from Domzala, Jones, Karyakin and Al Saif. 